Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back. Today we'll be looking at the water equipment template. Now, I know this video is late. I'm not going to explain why. I've been playing pinball. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. I know. You're like pinball, like the uh, 1995 game? No, I've been playing pinball with waifus. So I've been playing that game quite a bit and I kind of forgot about DBF. Let me let me let me show you how much I forgot about DBF. The event looks like this, bro. I have not farmed this event. I got 10 hours and 40 boxes to go. I mean, 20 boxes to go. It's gonna be pretty bad. I'll probably figure it out. But this, I just wanted you guys to understand the situation I'm in right now. So just cut me a, a little bit of slack, a little bit, a little bit. Hope I hope you can understand. Um, we all have this event coming up, but who cares about that? Now, let's get to the equipment template, part two, water. Now, I do know the end Ogi build here, and we we'll talk about it when we get there, because Killo, spoiling it for me. But other than that, everything here I don't know about. So let's start from the beginning with the Leviathan build, SR build, skip it, um, it's SR build, not worth your time. But offense to be zero, defense zero, effort zero, a, a water element set up center around SR weapons, use this as a jumping point. As I mentioned, don't use it. <laughs> um, same thing, six weapons, uh, six uh, uh, Magna weapons, two EX, Seraphic, and the main hand, who cares? We're gonna go quickly through it because uh, honestly, I t as I told people many times, don't use that build, it's not worth your time. So we're gonna make this a little bit fast in the fire video, okay? I'm not trying to make it 20 minutes every time, you know? 20 minutes, six elements, 120 minutes. Who wants to watch that? But uh, now we're on to the real build. My first build. My very first ever Magna build. Levived and Omega build. Woo, this bring back memories, bro. People know me as a Varuna Lord. Well, back in the day. But they don't know. I started with Magna. <laughs> 2016. Woo, my first, my first Levived and Dagger drop. Woo, good times, good times. Works best with multiple Leviathan Gaze Omegas. Oh, I know. <laughs> Get them from Leviathan Omega Raids. Offense 2, more like 1. Defense 2, like 1. Effort 1. Now, look at this bad boy grid. Ooh! This is like the Colossus grid. The only difference is that it was 6 daggers back in the day. 2 EXs here. It's pretty much the exact same copy and paste from the fire grid. Get your main hand, your five Magna weapons, your two EX, Bahamic, um, Seraphic weapon, exact same build. This one's fine. Your options, are, they're gonna be using the ones from the uh, side stories or the special quests. So you can go through them here, you got Dagger. Woo, woo. I remember this back in the day, we were running Hawkeye, meaning the Leviathan Gaze. Oh, get that, oof, juicy repel on Ogi. <laughs> Oh my God, dude! <laughs> oh, this, 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 this is no. This is this brings back the memories, man. Ooh, this me and this grid, bro. People don't know much about it when I used to use it a lot, but but, but Silva, she carried me hard, man. Silva Altair, four star Altair. <laughs> yeah, he had a four star. Trust me, he wasn't that great. He, he his skill too, never hit, <laughs> never hit. But that build is this exact copy and paste variant of the fire one. So I shouldn't really talk much about it. As I mentioned, I've used this build in 2016. Um, 2019, the same thing I said in the fire video. It's okay as the starting point. Um, can't really do much else, depending on what summons you have. But uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you don't really have much variety when it comes to the base magna builds. Um, so like, I'm pretty sure earth was gonna be yig swords. Wind has a little bit of variety, so we may get some options there. Light has a little bit of variety, and dark has variety. Just that water and fire are kind of the worst magnets in the game, so their variety is abysmal because they really only have one viable weapon from their magna, uh, their base magna raids. Unfortunately, the how water and fire had to deal with for a long time. Now, onto Leviathan Omega build two, and we are into high level. I expect no Opus in any of these builds because apparently they don't like Opus. Um, an enhanced version of the Leviathan Omega build boosts HP and double attack rates. Eh? Is this Mackie Fist? Oh, it sounds like Mackie Fist. Ooh, I hope not. <laughs> um, 
Oh god. <laughs> this sounds like Mackie Fizz, dude. Ooh. Okay. Offense t three. Okay. Defense three. Understandable. Get a lot of health. Effort three. Understandable. Let's get let's click it. Oh, it is Mackie Fist. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> now, let's talk about this grid. Back in 2016, Auburn's was the hot fire. Why? Because Mortar was a single attack Ellie. Many people may not know this, but before, like, I mean, like most water characters of 2017 and onwards, your main options were Altair, Silva, uh, Kator, or Quatre, Uno, JK, no one made Uno. <laughs> no one made Uno. <laughs> you guys think Fun Fun had it bad? Oh, Uno had it worse. <laughs> Uno was not even on the radar. Back then, Fun Fun was used for Bahamut High Level because he gave Perma Auto Revive. Uno gave nothing. Uno was a... Uno was the deadest character in the game, so let's give you a little, little, little notes there. But in terms of water, right, let, let's have to go here and in inventory, because this, this is something why people were wondering about this build maybe, is because this was actually a build in 2016. We're gonna go by water characters, we're gonna go by rarity. If you didn't know, when you put it by rarity, it shows you all the characters by release date. So you can see here that water characters were Altair, Lily, Charlotte, Lancelot, uh, this is the GW characters, this thing, Silva, Catalina, Yoda, this thing, and I believe this all goes into 2016. He is late 2016. No, this, this is, yeah, because Narmea is 2017, right? No, Narmea is 2016, uh, August. So he, like, came out in July-ish? Chat came out in, what, September? Romeo came, no, Romeo came out in September. I think chat came out in August, right? And Ismael came down, okay. Yeah, so this is all 2016 right here. And you can probably notice here, in terms of multi-attack rate boosting, you really don't have anyone boosting multi-attack rate besides Lancelot's passive. Uh, this would pre, this is pre-buff Lancelot. He didn't give anything to the party besides his one passive that boosted double attack. So, Water had no multi-attack rate buffers at all. Um, Quatre was your main way of getting multi-attack, as in you would use Quatre and Korwa and extend the buff to get multi-attack rate. But other than that, Water Magna, single attack Ellie, big time. So people ran that build so that they can get multi-attack. It was pretty bad though, because if you didn't crit, you didn't do no damage. Um, about it now though, I don't know. Is that supposed to be... I, honestly, I don't even know what summons you're running. Are you running double Leviathan? I, oh, God, I hope not. Um, how about crit? Are these weapons again? I don't remember. Are these small? <laughs> these small to medium. Okay, these are small attack. That's what it was. A medium crit. Oh boy, this grid. Mm, don't build it. <laughs> you're best at running Leviathan daggers, dude. Um, the only benefit for this build is that it works in Fa, high level, as a way for Magna to get health. But between me and you, <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, bro. You won't like it, bro. You are best off with Leviathan Daggers. You know, it's 2019, Leviathan Daggers. Use that. There's other weapons, but this, 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 this don't go this route. <laughs> Anything but this route. This, don't do it, bro. Just, I'm telling you, you don't want to. You don't want to take the time, the effort, the resources, anything like that. Just don't. No. No. Block this. <laughs> Put an X. Get that off the screen. Can nobody build that. Don't build it. Don't build. Don't. Listen. Listen. Don't build it. Trust me. Now, we're on to Leviathan Omega build three. Offense four. This build uses Europa's. Uh, so we got the harp. The staff should be here, maybe. Uh, what else? Yeah, a harp, a staff. Is there another weapon? Yo, <laughs> yo, what's the third weapon for Europa? I don't even know. Um, defense 
three. I don't know why it has defense. None of the weapons boost health, but let's see. Effort four, understandable because Europa kind of dies fast because everybody has Octo and Octo do big damage. This uh, power up your charge attack damage. Now this build is actually meta. Um, I don't know what the build they're gonna put in here, but it feels like three harps. Okay, three harps, I didn't even have to finish my sentence. Um, yeah, uh, the only problem with the build is that you need to have the right characters, right? If you don't have Vajra, pretty much, don't build this one. You're actually better off building the staff variant if you have staff team. Mentioning, again, if you have the characters, right? The problem with Water Magna, it solely relies on your characters. Having the right character, Vajra, or not having Vajra, makes a world of difference in how you play Water. Um, see that impactful for Water, unfortunately, right? Even though what is not the best Ellie in the game, it's probably the worst Ellie in the game overall. Um, at, in terms of like damage output, like water doesn't have the damage output of the other Ellie's and other content. Unfortunately, it does do good in far high level of speed runs. That's pretty good. Thanks to Typhon and stuff like that. So what it can do good in certain scenarios, but generally most of the time, what it does not perform at the same level as other Ellie's. Yeah, Jimmy, you're probably going to say something about then you four balls and you need no cares. Um, right now, your build for Magna really depends on what characters you have. So if you do have Vajra, this build is pretty great. Um, it does cover most things. I believe, though, they're missing out one Magna weapon. Oh, they have an Opus here. Holy crud. They put an Opus. Is it because the build is good that they put an Opus? Because the fire one is garbage. So that's why they didn't put an Opus, right? That, that's the only way to explain it, right? Because the fire one, right? Let me just make sure I refresh my memory, right? Because the fire one's crap, right? So that's why they didn't put an Opus, right? Yeah, because it's crap, right? So they didn't put an Opus. But for the water one, it's like, this is actually viable. So people run it. So that's why they put an Opus. Duh. Stamina, by the way, if you're wondering with uh, key to run. I think perfectly, it's fine. I, 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 looks good enough to me. Got the two Zenos. Um, Bahamut, Seraphic. Let's change the main hand, though. Um, Nobody runs DW Dagger in 2019 in water. It's not worth your time. Um, Axe. Don't do not do this one either. Melee. God, can you guys put proper main hands? What are these main? Who, what? Yeah. Okay. Is there a way for me to check out weapons? So, main hands for water, right? That you're probably wondering about, right? So, let's see here. Offense. So we have the Hollow Sky Staff, is a pretty decent main hand to run. Um, got the Opus at the main hand. Even for Magnus, fine. Why do I feel like we're missing weapons here? Uh, that that's all the weapons for water, dude. Hmm? Bro, I did not. The, wait, where are the rest of the weapons at? That can't be all the weapons, right? Okay, I don't, I don't understand. Um, hmm, that's weird. They're not showing every weapon for water right now, but you have things like mainly the katana, Kango. Let's be honest. Katana, Kango, Rising Forest weapon, class weapon is also fine. Uh, what you're looking for is Ogi builds, so you want to generate as much Ogi damage as possible. Therefore, builds that heavily boost Ogi damage is pretty optimal. So, like the base grid is fine, it's just that the main hands, they could have used better work. I feel like these classes are not the classes you'll be running when you're running this build. So what you're really looking for is Kango, Cryosaur to an extent. Um, what else are you looking for? Rising Forces, I mentioned. So I've seen this build also on Doctor, uh, but with the Doctor weapon, you run the, um, I did a video on it, the Proving Grounds weapon. I know, I know that everyone has the Proving Grounds weapon, but that's what you're looking for. But that's about it on this, honestly. I think the, the grid's fine. Oh, in some scenarios you may run four harps for one turn. It's one thing I mentioned here, like in like one turn ability, you actually drop the Levived in Dagger and you put in the fourth harp. Something makes people may wanna know. Oh, Ultima Katana too, as a main hand. 
And that's it for Leviathan builds. Uh, they didn't put the staff build in there. I feel like they should put the staff build because the staff build is actually better if you don't have Vajra. Uh, that performs way better. Depending, it all depends on what characters you have though, right? If you have all tier, like staff characters, even house, house, what's their name? The, the Oracle character, fine. Um, what else is there for water staff? Man, I can't think of these water staff characters. Kaliostro, Lily, how I forget them. Folia, Europa, Summer Europa. I'm sorry, I, just, I had a brain fart. But characters like that benefit more from the staff build if you don't have Vajra. It's that impactful of having Vajra, it changes your whole weapon pool. Anyways, let's get on to the Var my Varina build. I expect to see Fenrir bows. Um, I'm just looking at the name of them. One is Varina build, so it's probably Fenrir. Critical is the, uh, the, the bow and CA being the balls. So, a build powered by Varna Aura boosts HP for these long battles. Oh, uh, I didn't look at the stats. What was it? 4-4-4, four, 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 right? Offense 4. It should be 3, actually. Fenrir bows are... F they're okay, but they're not nearly as strong as they was, what, 3 years ago? Defense 4. I think that's fine. Um, I wouldn't put it to 5. It's actually that great, the HP boost from the Fenrir bows. Effort... Four, I think that's fine. I remember back in the day, people that have a hard time with Fenrir. Probably not so much now, so maybe drop it to three. Uh, they've put quite a bit in the trade in. However, Fenrir is not here 24 7, so I can understand why people would be mad about that. Ooh, this is like my old school grid, bro. Can I have, do I pull up a video? Bro, this is like, this is like my old school grid, dude. <laughs> bro, oh, uh, they're running the granny fist though. I, yeah, I think I read that too. It's like my old school grid. <laughs> Oh, brother. It wasn't that main hand, though, right? It was the spear. Oh, Twilight Knight is 2016. No, 2017. Oh, I mean, it didn't have this either. But yeah, close enough. No open scene there. But listen, bro. It, it reminds me of the good times, okay? Woof. Good. This was this, this some good times. Uh, three Fenrir bows and the Ultima Spear. Oh, memories, man. Memories. Now, don't do this in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> Three Fenrir bows. It's okay. Um, I tried it. I did, I did a video on this recently, right? I think it was post 140 Magnus. So if, if you go into, like, I think the video is called, let's take a look at Varina build in 2019. Free to play Varina 2019. Yeah. So this, this grid right here is free to play. So if you look at a video called, let's take a look at free to play Varina, you can get an idea of the damage the build can do. Um, three bows, I feel like it's a touchy subject. It really depends on what you have. I don't think three bows is nearly as good as it used to be though. You have to, I think you have to be topped off at 90-ish. And even then it's kind of like, eh? Other than that, um, it really depends on the content though. I think it's, I think it's still okay in, in 2019, but I honestly, I haven't ran free to play Varna in 2019. So I don't know if it's still good. But I feel like it's not nearly as good. I think most people have dropped to two now. This because of the vast pool of weapons. Not to mention, there's no staff here. Uh, the staff Kong. What, what, what's, the, what's the staff called? This one. The epic staff. Nice. This one. I don't know. I don't know the name of this weapon. Savior of the Hollow Ground. It could be in here. It's literally a Fenrir bow. So. Uh, it doesn't have the health boost though, but it gives you multi-attack. What's this build is lacking in? So, I mean, if you want that much health, if you want to run around with what is it, 65k health? No, more because the opus, right? It's like 70k, 60, 70k. If you want to run around with that much health, go ahead. But uh, I don't feel it's needed. I feel like you can get the little boost from the, the multi-attack. Keep in mind, it's not that big of a boost because you only have like two weapons and it's not boosted. But any boost is better than no boost when you come in from an element with not a ton of multi-attack, especially from this grid right here. Yeah. Um, other than that, that's fine. Oh, right, your health is lowered because of the 10% um, cut from the Granny Fist. Ooh. Hmm. Depending on what build you're running, what character you're running, you may want to change out this for the Leviathan Dagger. Depends on the characters, though. Hmm. 
uh, uncap axe. You probably don't put it in most content, actually. You you won't cap with this build without a bunkle. If I last remembered, you have a hard time capping unless it's ten defense. Uh, I used to actually sub in the DA axe into this build a lot because I, I had a hard time capping with it unless it was ten defense, or if I was fully buffed up with like all tier buff or something. Other than that, you wouldn't cap. Or if I had the water ship, it would help too. Other than that, it looks okay. And now we on to the Varna critical build. Offense max, defense four. Yeah, because there's no help in this build, right? Yeah. Effort. F so why not just put money signs here? Because once we start going into the primal builds that cost money, there should be some way to tell people that, A, it costs money. I guess they mentioned grand weapons. An enhanced build of the Varna, well, <laughs> an enhanced version of the Varna build upgraded with grand weapons. But effort feels like, eh, you probably throw out some, a money sign in there, bro. So people know. So be two bows and, uh, oh, okay. So three spears, one bow. This is still 100% crit with double Varna. And one thing I would like to mention here is that I wish they sold you the sub summon because. People gotta understand that the sub summon actually matter. You can't just tell, you can't just show somebody the main summon and expect them to, oh, I know, I'll just run Mackie, or I'll just run Europa 140. The sub summon is something that they should know, and the fact that they don't have it here is a huge, huge issue, especially when you count water, the element where you run <clears throat> Bonito a lot. So people may not know exactly what sub summon they're running in this build. So I feel like they should add that. So we have the Opus main hand. This is definitely a critical build. Um, damage over time is the sub key. Now, <laughs> three spears instead of one spear and two bows. I actually not too proficient in this area. I don't know what's better. I have never tried them. I have an account with two bows and one spear. So I could try that out. But three spears and one bow, I don't have any access to that right now. So I can't really tell you much on how much better this build is compared to the two bow, one spear. I, just, I don't know I don't know which bow, uh, what build is better. That Honestly, I ignored a crit build. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of time, resource, money. Unless you love water like it's your baby, it's literally wasting your time building this grid because it doesn't matter. It, it legit has no content right now outside of GW. Now, this can change in the future, but we're talking about 2019 right now, at the time of recording this video, this grid has no content. And Fee, I know you're gonna say something about this video. Listen, bro, Six Dragons not here. GW's not here. I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. Okay, thank you. I do notice that they put the Ultima staff in here, so they, they expect you to run the staff team with this. And you know that's really important because they should have done it with the Fire Team and the Hollow Sky Spear. If you're gonna put ultimates in one grid, they should be in every grid. And it's, you know what? Just sell the team comp too, bro. Like, sell examples of team comps at this point. If we're gonna start building grids and you're gonna start posting out ultimates, you need to sell team comps because people can't understand how the build's gonna work if you don't sell the team because the weapon pool is based around the team sometimes. You, can, you build your pool sometimes based around the characters you're using so you can't just show someone your pool, expect them to replicate it, and think it's gonna work the same way. Cause when you add in Akasha weapons and stuff like that, that matters to your team. So therefore, you should show this team build as well. That's how I feel about it. Um, you can sell free to play options. You can, show, you can sell whale options, but you should at least sell characters so people can get an idea of what you're running. That's, what, that's just me thinking about it, right? Cause water is one, it's one of those Ellie's where your characters determine your pool. Like the critical build is very popular because of Kaliosha. Her ability to give 10% bonus damage on crits is massive. And you need a crit all the time to get the most value out of it. So I feel like it's disingenuous to not show the characters you're running because this pool is pretty much based for her. Why else is there the Ultima staff and not Kasa staff, right? If you're not gonna be running this with Vajra, I hope to God you're not running it with Vajra. 
Um, so I feel like there's a couple things that can be mentioned here. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's better in terms of three spears and one bow versus a two two bow and one spear. I don't know. Uh, leave in the comments. Uh, I'll probably ask around because I'm pretty sure like Killo or somebody knows what's better. I don't know. I ain't keeping up with water crit. I'll worry about it when I need it. But right now, don't need it. And uh, the last build, <laughs> last build, Varna CA build, offense max. Cause yeah, it does, you do big damage. Defense four, I think that's fine. Effort five, the Varna build is centered around charge attacks, makes good use of blue spears. Oh yes, it does. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, two balls. This, I'm assuming, is double Varna. Oh my god, the main hand. What is this? <laughs> Bro, how you gonna how you going to give someone the water Ogi build and you not put the Kun in this buddy? Yo, how they do that? Bro, how they do that though? They didn't put the ultimate katana. They didn't put the, I mean it could be you gotta put any katana, dude. Who would do an Ogi build with a Merg? Who does that? Other than, let's say, Fa High Level? I don't think you do it with the Merg. I think you use the Spear now. Um, I think people are using Europa, Europa Spear now over the Merg. So, just take it from top rankers, dude. <laughs> just take the build from the people who are fast so people can learn. I, I understand, right? They kind of they kind of want to do it their way, but this is this this is pretty bad. First off, two balls. This is what I'm believing is double Varna. Nobody runs double Varna. You you're running the Ogi build to drop a fish that's gonna give you 200% charge bar so you can Ogi big damage. That's the only point of doing it. Nobody running double Varna with the Ogi build. Um. So I don't. Um, I mean, unless like there's some content where you run the the um, Ogi Bell with double Varna, but I can't think of any, right? I'm pretty sure like there's n there's no content. You probably think of far high level, but they run Body Toe. He's running Vajra, so I, 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 I don't know. I'm surprised. I I don't know why they put this build with. This is why I mentioned that they should put sub auras because. We don't know what sub aura they're running. Um, maybe they could be running two balls with double Varna because yes, two balls does my fault. Two balls and single Varna is what that twenty four percent I believe. No, I think it's higher now, twenty eight percent I believe, in terms of Ogi cap. So maybe they're running it that way. Though you don't get the boost, which why people even opt to run four balls and five high level. So, honestly, I don't feel like two balls should be posted here. They should just go with the standard Ogi build, which is the three balls, three harps. Um, I didn't tell why they put the Fenrir axe here. I mean, the Fenrir bows. But honestly, you get most of your damage from the Opus stamina. So, that's generally good enough. I feel like the main hand here is really, really bad. They should... If you're going to do this, right, so the other options, right, the spear, the katana... The katana is the most important one. The Kango made water. No, wait. Water made Kango. Everybody ran Kango water. Bro, it was like, oh, Kango? Is that water? It, it, like, when you seen Kango, you just thought, oh, it's a water guy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what you thought. In the, at least in 2018. Oh, it's a Kango. Oh, it must be a water player. <laughs> what else is it? <laughs> I mean, it, it was like the Earth Kango. But let's be realistic, if you've seen Kango, the first thing that came to people's head was, oh, it must be a water player. <laughs> you, you didn't think, oh man, it's a Kango player, it must be a dark player. Am I playing the dark Kango build? No, it, it's not how it worked. So the fact that they didn't even put a Katana, it's very, very questionable. Double Fanier Bows is also very questionable with this build. Uh, two Europa Harps, that's okay. It depends if you want to go between two and three. The EX... I don't, I don't know what this build is. Man, I don't know what this build is, bro. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know. And people say it's only get worse from here. So, 
30 minutes. Holy... I was supposed to make this video 10 minutes. I tried, guys. I really... Do you see these builds? What are, what are these? What are those? So, so, I don't know, man. I tried, bro. I tried to keep it 10 minutes. And I added, I added 20 extra minutes. Oh, Lord, man. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's my opinion on this on this water element. Let's talk about the winners here. Okay, so the original bar in the build, that's fine. Um, triple Fenrir bow, it's questionable. But uh, I think two to three is okay. Other than that, I didn't have that much problems with it. Uh, I don't think there's any other builds right now for water right now. Free to play Varna. I don't think anybody's running the full crit grid with the fist. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't tried it. If anybody knows about it, tell me. Leviathan Omega build three, that's a pretty good build. If you have Vajra, they should add the Vajra part because if you don't have Vajra, they'll make this build. But other than that, I think it's pretty good. Um, they should have added the Leviathan Omega build four, which is the staff build. And other than that, I think that's pretty good. The, oh, the Omega build, what is it, one? I think that's fine. Omega build two is garbage. Leviathan build is garbage. Critical build is questionable. I don't know what's better now. Some whale can tell me. See, it build is questionable as hell. Uh, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a heap of mess, right? To be honest, they should put bony toe. This is like bony toe CA build. Cause that's what people are running it. They're running bony toe. They're not running Varna. It doesn't have to be main Varna. Um, I don't know why they did Varna, but uh, they said so sub summons at this point and characters too. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. I will try, try not to uh, be so late with these videos. I probably am. I'll be flipping some pinball tables. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, later. Bye.